I got to VidCon before the 7120 other attendees so I could see the Expo Hall and the DFTBA booth and the places where you can get food and the Bouncy Castle and also so I could see the stage before standing on it in front of a lot of people. Ah. How are you feeling right now? I have to pee. Alright, we're ready. Incidentally, Hank, about 98% of the time, those are the last words you say to me before we go on stage. Hank and John Green. So VidCon was pretty amazing. I mean, you performed live with Felicia Day and George Watsky in front of several thousand people. Megan Tonja sang a song about my book. We met loads of nerd fighters and had the chance to talk about educational video and watch a Gregory Brother hula hoop poorly. Hank, every year something at VidCon fills my nerdy heart with joy. And this year it was taking an hour away from the craziness to discuss the Monty Hall problem with Viheart, Brady, and Derek. During which time I discovered that if you have two children and both are born on a weekend and one of them is a boy born on a Saturday, the other is most likely a girl. That really blew my mind, although not as much as watching several thousand people join you in singing a song about particle physics. A court is a fundamental constituent of matter. French the freaking llama, Hank, so there you go. My VidCon was all about math and physics, but other people had other VidCons. More on that in a second. As you can possibly tell from the view in the mirror, I am on vacation with the Yeti's family, which you couldn't tell from the view in the mirror. It's quite nice out there, Hank, and you know what summertime at the beach means? It means it's time to slather on the SPF 50 and read some great literature together. So here in the Nerdfighter Book Club, we're reading Fahrenheit 451, or as I call it when I'm trying to remember how to spell Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit 451. Your first reading assignment is to finish part one of the book, The Hearth and the Salamander, by next Tuesday. Hold on, I'm gonna build a tripod. Better. So Hank, we're both gonna read Fahrenheit 451, and we're both gonna make videos about it, and our readings will probably be very different, and that will allow us as a community to discuss how best to read, why we read, what we find fulfilling about reading. I'm very excited about this. So Hank, ultimately what I love about reading together is precisely what I love about VidCon. You started VidCon, but we all make it happen together, just as Bradbury wrote his novel, but it doesn't become real until we read it. Of course, even amid shared experience, we're still alone. Like I said earlier, my VidCon was unique, and each reading of every book is unique. But what a comfort it is to share readings and experiences. How lucky we are when we get to be alone together. Hank, Thank you for starting VidCon, and a huge thanks to Carver and Jenny and Monica and Jojo and all the volunteers who made it actually happen. DFTBA, I will see you on Friday. Hi, how's it going? This is how I ate ice cream. Why does everyone look at me like this when I eat ice cream?